in Lebanon, there's no legal minimum age for marriage. Some laws allow girls younger than 15 to marry. In fact, according to UNICEF, 6% of girls in the country married before their 18th birthday. Now, these numbers have increased with the influx of Syrian refugees, some 1 million of them. For more on this, let's cross to Maya El Amar from CAFA, which is an organization that's fighting to bring an end to violence and exploitation against women. She joins us from Beirut. Now, Maya, your organization has spent a great deal of time in the presence of child brides. What do you think you've learned from these meetings? Well, it is worth mentioning that uh, it is very hard for the girls to reach us because their movement is controlled. But once they do, we know that they're stuck in a cycle of abuse and exploitation by their husbands. And many of the husbands are Lebanese husbands and land landlords who exploit these girls. Uh, most of them uh, are Syrian refugees. Uh, some of them are Lebanese, of course. Uh, and uh, they suffer from economic uh, hardship. And uh, some of them are pressured to marry uh, by their uh, parents. And talk us through how CAFA, your organization, has been campaigning to bring an end to child marriage in the country. Well, first, we had to uh, begin uh, with creating awareness, more awareness around this topic, because a lot of people in Lebanon did not know that this practice still existed or that it was still legal. So first of all, we had to uh, create a lot of videos, a lot of material, a lot of awareness uh, actions uh, that we conduct on the ground to tell people that it's still legal and that uh, uh, the Lebanese laws allow it, especially the personal status laws. And uh, we do a lot of community work to try and intervene whenever we know uh, parents want to marry off their uh, their child, so a lot of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, interventions and community-based interventions, especially in the Syrian refugee camps. Now, you've been talking about the videos that you guys release. We're now seeing also uh, from a stream of artists who are getting involved in the campaigning, setting up movies, for example. But this is happening at the same time as religious leaders are very publicly stating that early marriage is acceptable. Whose voice would you say is louder in Lebanon? Well, we have to see whose voice is louder in Parliament, because uh, it is still very problematic among members of Parliament, because not all of them are this influenced by religious leaders. It is true that artists uh, are very impactful, and they help us build uh, a public opinion that is against uh, this practice. But then a religious leader uh, uh, t says a speech and uh, just tells his followers that uh, this, is, this practice is good and that it is uh, religious and that it is valued, and then his followers change their minds, even if they had previously agreed with us. So it is a challenge, but I believe that uh, we're not hopeless yet. Now, this practice remains uh, more of a problem in rural areas in Lebanon. How do you reach out to those particular communities? Um, through other local organizations who uh, work in these rural areas and through direct intervention whenever we can and through the media. So we try uh, our best to, to be able to reach out for them. And uh, whenever violence occurs, we try and coordinate with the police so that they go to the house where the violence is happening and we take it from there. And lastly, Maya, the country very recently, in fact, last month, passed a legislation to overturn the marry your rapist law. Do you see that? as a stepping stone for your own cause? Well, to be honest, uh, hope is our fate. But we shouldn't be naive. Uh, whenever uh, decision makers uh, make a step forward, then we get so excited and we believe them, especially in the Lebanese context, because they give rights uh, in small pieces and they make us believe that they're uh, doing us a favor. Uh, as a matter of fact, Article 522 was not repealed totally. It still applies to minors and it still applies uh, when uh, there's intercourse with a minor and they allow uh, the marriage because we still live in a patriarchal society that wants to preserve the so-called honor of the girl or her family. So 5 to 2, there is an achievement there, but uh, we should always be cautious uh, because uh, it is not complete. But as I also say that um, hope is our fate. It doesn't mean that we're going to stop our struggle here. Maya Elamar, Kafas Communications Officer, thank you so much for speaking to us.